Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown, where we not only tackle uh, fitness-related topics, food, working out, possible bodybuilding and fitness-type shows and different things. You never know what we're going to cover, but we also cover mental-type things as well, such as depression, anxiety, and even epilepsy. <clears throat> if you haven't watched the other couple of videos in this little series I'm doing, uh, my wife has epilepsy. She was diagnosed probably three years ago, four years ago. I don't even know anymore. But uh, she mentioned to me, hey, why don't you paint me something? Why don't you uh, paint me uh, a seahorse? It's the mascot for epilepsy. And uh, so I, li I did some little research and uh, pulled up a website and found a website that's talking about that seahorse and all. But now I'm not painting that seahorse, but I'm painting a seahorse. And I, I believe it's any seahorse is just uh, the mascot kind of the symbol uh, for epilepsy. So that's what I'm doing. And uh, if you go back and you watch my last video, part two. Uh, you'll know that uh, whenever I finished, this wasn't quite as long, his snout, his whatever they are, and his head was a little rounder. So uh, not only did I fill it in a little bit more with white, I used a better paint. Uh, my wife got me all this stuff kind of uh, for Christmas, and it was extremely budget friendly, like super, super cheap. And the paints are like really watery, and they were not covering real well. Uh, so, uh, like the day after Christmas or whatever, I went out and bought this from Walmart, and it was only $10. And uh, so, after I stopped my live stream uh, the last time, uh, I went ahead and I filled it in with some white uh, from this, and it covers it a lot better. So, I uh, filled that in a little bit more. I kind of made this head a little bit more pronounced. I elongated his little snout thing. <laughs> uh a little bit more. That's just kind of a design I'm coming up with. Uh, I did get kind of a basic idea of what a seahorse looks like because I didn't know exactly, you know. And they do look a little different. You'll see them look like this. You'll see them with the tail a little bit longer and curled this way. Uh, you'll even see them with the tail curled back this way. So it's kind of whatever you want to do, man. You know, art is subjective. and You can do whatever you want. I could have put the tail on his head if I wanted. So... But I didn't do that because I didn't what they look like. And I'm not I'm not an abstract artist. I'm not Van Gogh or whatever his name was. So, and again, I'm not a great artist by any stretch of the imagination. I love art. I've grown up drawing uh, as a kid. I started drawing like monster trucks and cars and stuff. And then I quickly graduated over to drawing like superhero He-Man type stuff because that was my favorite cartoon in the 80s, He-Man. And uh, still is. And uh, so that's kind of the art that I've always drawn with a little bit of, you know, different variations here and there. And periodically I'll do something like this. And it's very periodically. So anyway, this is where we're at. And... Uh, Oh, goodness, I got a bot already? What? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, love. Bye-bye, you stinky little doody. Doo 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 <coughs> Anyway. So we got you out of here, Mr. Urbane Kirkman, or whatever. Kiko, man, Kiko, Kak. Stoopy, stoopy, doopy, doo. Now. Anyway, on to the painting, guys. Uh, I want to try and get this done this weekend so I can give it to my wife. And uh, I got some plans for it. I got some stuff I'm going to, like, do to it. You know, we're not just going to paint. We're going to, like, do some stuff to it. Give us some texture, a little bit of raise, a little something. I don't like doing just flat, <coughs> flat art. I like my stuff to have some texture to it, a little something. So I got some stuff I'm going to do to it. 
So, let me see how I feel about this. Okay, maybe that. Yeah, we'll go with that. So I think I'm gonna use a a whatever color this is should be pink. Magenta. Do I want magenta? Magenta. So I hope everybody's having a good day. We're supposed to get a little bit of wintry mix tonight. Hopefully we don't. I don't need all that mess. Don't need it all. <laughs> I did have a good workout tonight though. Worked out my back. I just got done eating my dinner which was two tuna wraps and a sweet potato. Hey Gary, how you doing? Nice to see you on this wonderful Friday. No, I didn't schedule my live stream. By the time I get to thinking that I want to do a live stream, I'm already ready to do my live stream. So, nice and sunny here in Idaho. Lucky son of a gun. <clears throat> well, well, it's getting dark here, so. Yeah, looking pretty cloudy still. Uh, Again, it's, it, we're supposed to have a little something, but it'll probably pass us by. I bet it don't do nothing. It's been pretty warm, so it's not going to, like, you know, really do anything major. <coughs> so, uh, what, what was your day like, Gary? Did you do anything? Hmm. We're using magenta. Magenta. Did it your way today at the gym? Oh, what's that? Are you doing like the one movement uh, that I'm kind of experimenting with? Just kind of one movement. Today was my back day. And of course, this whole six week little thing I'm trying. Uh, my back day, I'm doing Smith Machine Bent Rows. So that's what I did today. And this is week five. This is the end of week five. So next week we'll start my week six and there we'll be. One exercise, 12 sets of 15. We'll have to wait. Let oh, that's good. Yeah, once you... Now, of course, with mine, you know, my, my, my sets and my weights and, and all that kind of stuff kind of vary. I'm just kind of going week to week and kind of doing it kind of judging kind of what I want to do so you know like one week I might do 12 sets for the back and then the next week I might do 15 and uh, the way I kind of look at it is in my normal back routine I typically would do like say lat pull downs cable pulls bent rows something like that and so I'm doing like five or six sets you know per each but you know for each movement so it adds up to about you know 15 or so so you might as well go ahead and do 15 of the one movement so that's kind of what I was doing so that's kind of my thinking on it and then as far as the pounds that I use and as far as the rep range it just kind of you know depends on what I want to do uh, tonight on my bent rows I went up pretty heavy and of course going up that heavy my my form is going to look a little bit not great, but you know, you gotta you gotta get that heavy weight on there to shock your body a little bit and to you know hopefully build up a little bit of strength and get your body used to doing that kind of stuff and eventually your one kind of nasty rep will turn into a one really nice rep. So walked out of there with the fell in the head bat wings. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's when you know you got a pretty good uh Workout then. It's pretty good. Well, let me go ahead and try some magenta, Gary. Let me try some magenta. Hopefully this is gonna work. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it on the brush. I'm gonna just oh my magenta.
I'm a little nervous. I don't want to mess it up. But you can always go over stuff again, I guess. So. So my week, my week went okay. A little bit more bad news with my son. Of course, he's got diabetes, pretty bad. So I don't know why I put that up, but I need that. <laughs> uh, my son has diabetes, pretty bad, and he don't take care of himself. So yeah, they're saying that he's not far from going into ketosis or whatever that word is, and. Uh, you know, it's not a good feeling whenever you know, you know, as long as nothing happens to, to me, you know, it's not a good feeling knowing I'm probably going to end up having to bury my kid. And, uh, you, you know, i got a lot of that on my mind. And, uh, you know, what do you do when someone don't take things seriously and they don't really care? And, you know, you can't make someone care no matter who they are. You know? So, you know, it is what it is. We all got our own demons that we're fighting. He's going to have kind of like a magenta color belly. <coughs> and I have some other paints and things that I'm going to kind of use and uh, add to it and kind of separate things and stuff. I'm an insulin dependent diabetes, but my doctor says I'm curing myself with these workouts. Well, I hope so. Of course, it's all, you know, it's a lot in your diet as far as that goes, too. Well, I know you don't want to think that way but you know even he's you know he he's even the same way he's kind of like me we both kind of just go ahead and you know kind of expect and say things kind of the same I guess and uh, <coughs> man I love him to death I hate to see him do that to himself and uh, you know it's the same thing with my father-in-law you know, they just live next door, him and my mother-in-law, and, you know, he's already got stents all over everywhere you can put a stent, and they've had to redo stents because he keeps eating junk, and it gets clogged back up, and, you know, and they get all upset and all crying and all, you know, all tore up whenever they have to go in the hospital, you know, they get all scared and everything, and then as soon as they get out and within, like, a couple of days, literally a couple of days, it's just right back to the same thing, you know? It's, uh... It's mind-blowing. It, it blows my mind. You know, uh, how people think is just so insane to me. I just, I don't get it. <coughs> now... Since I got a lot of bluey purpley kind of stuff on the background, I can't really go bluey purpley with him. So we got to kind of work around that. So what do we do? What kind of green do I use? I think I'm going to use a green. What kind of green? Good grief. Can they ride any smaller? K. 
Cadminium green? Cadminium green. I don't know. They just make up words. They just make stuff up. <laughs> so I'm sure you might have said before, but uh, I forget things really quick. Um, how long you been working out? And, uh, you know, do you work at home? You go to the gym? And I'm sure your overall goal is just basic health and fitness. I assume. <coughs> green. Do I want green? I was thinking orange. Do I want orange or green? I don't know. I don't know if I want green. And I'll bet you try to warn people. And avoid you like the plague, huh? Yep, they do. You know, my wife the other day even said, you're sounding like a, you know, whatever. I don't know. I don't. I can't even remember what she said. Like religious people that hound you to death. She's like, you're starting to sound like that. You know, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm not really trying to sound like that, but once you've been in your shoes, you know, uh, you know, I'm a normal everyday guy. I grew up eating whatever I want, how much I wanted, whenever, everything, you know, the typical American diet. And uh, they know, you know what I mean? I've been with my wife 30 years. She knows me. She knows what I can eat. And, uh, you know, I'm just a normal guy. And I finally, you know, found the way, found the, you know... Finally, my brain snapped and I, I was like, I'm doing it. And so I'm like, you know, and, and then you start feeling the difference uh, really quick. You know, once you change your diet, it's it's all in the diet. You know, I exercised and did stuff my whole life. But once you change the diet, man, that's where it, that's where it goes to a whole nother level. Because you start really changing from the inside, which is really what counts. Now, we all want to look pretty on the outside, of course, but... <clears throat> we, do our, we do our best. But I guess my best wasn't good enough. Uh, sorry. But the inside is what matters. And once you start feeling that change on the inside, you want to you wanna share it with people, you know? You want to really get them to understand. And, uh, and we're so brainwashed and hard-headed, you know, because we've been eating and doing whatever we want our whole life that it's like you know a drug like I said in my video that I did it, it's a drug food is a drug easily as powerful as any other drug oh so you do get in there about four times a week and I love to walk good that's awesome and you had a stroke a few years back but did but wouldn't know it and that's good. I know strokes can take people out quick, and some people don't do any, you know, really much to them. And it's weird. It's a weird thing. I think I'm going to use some cadmium orange. Cadmium orange. Maybe that's what I'll use. Do I want to use that? Yeah, we'll try this brush. See, oh, let me open it up. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. It's her. Yeah, I know, but I, you know, I also know that it's annoying to get hounded, and I try not to hound people. I try not to really mess with anyone too bad because people are going to do what they want to do, and they get a change for themselves, just like what happened to me. So I try not to really hound. But when, you know, people come over here, when her parents come over and they're talking about everything and, yeah, I'm trying, nothing's working, you ain't trying. <laughs> you know, you're still eating the same stuff you've been eating. And then he, he walks his dog from next door just up past our house and turns around and goes back. Yeah, I went for it. That ain't walking. You got to get out there and walk. And it's not just a walking, it's your diet. Okay? And, oh, I'm changing. No, you're not. You're coming over here, you're grabbing a piece of meatloaf because your daughter sneaks you out some meatloaf. 
you're getting some chocolate candy bars and stuff that you're, that my wife, your daughter, is handing out to you. <clears throat> yep, exactly. That's what's wrong. And that's what's wrong with all the kids. Uh, being a bus driver, and I'd hate to be a teacher or, or a, uh, a caretaker, uh, like a nursery, uh, child care, whatever. Oh, Lord. That's what's wrong with the kids. That's why they have this so-called ADHD and all these other kind of crazy problems. Is I think they're, I think over all these years, all this diet is spreading through the parents and their genes and going into the kids. And every generation is getting worse and sicker and sicker from birth. And then they're raised every day on garbage anyways on top of that. And then they're all on medication. We get a list. I can tell you this. It's confidential, the names and stuff. But I can tell you this. We get like a list of every kid in the school system uh, and all their problems, everything. And every kid in there has a problem. Like if there's 10,000 kids, they all got a problem. So... Number one, diet. Number two, exercise. Number three, be a parent. Number four, whoop your kid. The government can't take all your kids away. You got to whoop them. You got to whoop kids. I got whooped. I was raised by my mom and my grandma. They didn't want to whoop us. They loved us to death. And I don't know if my grandma ever whooped me. <laughs> but I know my mom did. I needed it. And she loved me. It's a part of life. And you got to tiptoe around everybody. <coughs> Yeah, it don't, you know, it's like, again, it's a drug. If you bother people too badly, they'll stop coming around you. So <clears throat> I try not to bother people too much. It's just so dang annoying. Man, this paint is so much better. <laughs> Even cheap Walmart paint's better than what my wife got me. Thanks a lot, wife. Don't tell her I said that. Wait, she might end up watching this video. When I'm done. Well, I'm glad to know that you get out and you do your and you do your walks and you work out and you're at least conscious of stuff. Cause there's a lot of people that don't make it that far. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. And part of dealing with it, is, you know, having to reprimand them, get on them at school and at home, you know. But it's good, you know. You, you want a kid to have some energy and to. Uh, you know, be doing stuff. Of course, you know, you got to have limits, of course, but, you know, you want a kid to have some energy and go, and they just keep them drugged down and drugged down, and, of course, I got a couple kids on my bus. I wouldn't mind if they drug them down. They're making my year miserable. I 
Yeah, yeah. I never had a dad, but of course my mom, you know, she'd get a brush after you and a ping pong paddle or I've had to get a switch a time or two. I remember I wasn't a bad kid, but I was just, a, you know, I didn't do good in school, and she'd get on to me for that, and I did really bad in school. Not like bad as in probably most people you're thinking, but, you know, I was in, I'll go ahead and tell you, I was in seventh grade four years, <laughs> and by the time that I finally decided to quit high school, I was fixing to turn 21, and uh, I was with, I was already dating my wife, uh, girlfriend at the time, but. We were already dating, and I just didn't want to give up. I was trying, and, you know, I tried and tried, and then I fell back to not caring again, and just, and by the time I was that age, you know, I was like, you know, I'm ready to quit, and uh, I remember getting my full, real, full-time job at that point. Uh, it was a lamp, a lamp factory where they made lamps and all kind of, you know, everything for the lamps and shipped them out called uh, Markel Lighting, and uh, that was one of my first, you know, full-time real jobs, and uh, I think I started it on my birthday, uh, when I turned 21. That's pretty bad when you're in school long enough you can buy kids alcohol. <laughs> I should be ashamed. Yeah, the orange looks better than the emerald would have. Yeah. Eh, I'm just kind of seeing him. And I'm going to add more colors and stuff to it. And uh, I'm going to try and do like some scales or some kind of stuff. And, and I have some paint that's in a bottle that has a little spout that you can kind of draw with it. And I'm going to outline everything and try to draw like, uh, kind of mark out scales or something with it or something. We'll do something. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. How long you been? How long you been over at uh, McBean's channel? He's doing pretty good. He's got that uh, lifting competition this weekend. He's a strong old dude. I know that. <clears throat> I mean, he's lifting weights at 60 years old, 61 now, that I never could get to it. My strongest, I was flat benching like 375, and he's doing 100 pounds more than that. So that's crazy. Wow, this paint's so much better. Good grief. Well, I've got enough of this to finish it.
So what other uh, what other hobbies do you have, Gary? I know uh, John, you know, McBean, uh, he likes knives and guns and that kind of stuff. Hope we're still alive here. Says I'm doing good. I'll have to watch that. I have to watch it. Uh, you have to watch it. Uh, I'm sorry, I lost track. Uh, you got to watch. Oh, his meat? Are you talking about his meat? Uh, wait, Bean's doing the walking also. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he's got he's got his little walk going on now. You know, once you once you start doing these things, it just becomes a part of life. And if you don't do it, you feel really uneasy and you can't even rest hardly. You know, I've tried it, you know, before. Uh, even like Sundays are supposed to be my day off. But I always walk and spin. And if I don't do that, then I'm just like, I'm lost. I don't like it. <laughs> so I go, you know, once you become accustomed to doing it, it's just like breathing. Hey, John, how you doing? What's going on? Hey, I'm glad you dropped in. We were just talking bad about you, uh, John. Real bad. I, I didn't want to, but Gary was, he was making me talk real bad. <laughs> no, we were talking good about you. Talking about your walks and how strong you are and all that good stuff. Yeah, I posted just a little quick little video uh, on YouTube a while ago. I think I posted it up uh, where I made my tuna wraps and my sweet potato for tonight. I wanted to do something quick, so I had the sweet potato going in my air fryer while I was working out. <coughs> and uh, then when I got done, all I had to do was make up two little tuna wraps and I was good to go. So... Because I knew I wanted to get in here and get started on this. And I want to try and get this done this weekend. Now I'm not much on tomato soup. But I do love soup. And uh, I do love grilled cheese. Ain't nothing much better than grilled cheese. Like I, I like grilled cheese and uh, chili. I like, I like that. But I do like, uh, now I don't eat soup and all that like I used to since I'm kind of being a little bit more strict with my diet. I just kind of stick to a certain plan. But uh, once in a while I'll still make uh, like a chicken soup. I've kind of perfected my little chicken soup that I that I make and uh, it tastes really good. Yeah, it is. So you can't hardly beat soup and grilled cheese when it's cool, when it's cold out. Oh, you sing and play some music sometimes? Do an open mic? That's cool, Gary. 
I asked Gary a, a few minutes ago if he had any more hobbies or anything, and I said, you know, I mentioned you, you know, you like your knives and uh, guns and all that, so. And I'm surprised, John, that you play video games. I'm really surprised. My wife's grandma, uh, she was 64 years old when she died, uh, early 2000s, and uh, she was a gamer at her age back then before it was like super uber popular for everyone to be but to, to be gamers uh, my wife's grandma was a gamer and uh, she loved it too boy she she would not let you play her games if she had it on and you couldn't save you know like on the old systems where you couldn't save and you just had to leave it on or you had to beat the game right there don't touch that system uh, because it's it's on for a reason leave it alone <laughs> so <coughs> That's great. I like I like knowing that, uh, you know, even people my age, you know, I like seeing... But, of course, I grew up with video games, of course. You know, I was in the video game era. Arcade era, all that. So, you know, it's good to see older people doing that kind of stuff. Just fall out in Skyrim? Yeah. I have a channel where I live stream video games. Once in a while, I might upload like some pre-recorded video, uh, but I have another channel called Old Mental Pickle. Old Mental is the first word. That's all one word. Old Mental, and then Pickle is the second word. So, I got a few games on there that I've went through. Uh, all the Halo games, uh, even the new Halo, Back for Blood. Uh, trying a couple of other games. I got a, a game that I'm playing, uh, Lost Ark or something like that, and it's it's kind of a Dungeons and Dragonsy or Diabloish kind of looking down at it, point and click and battle kind of stuff. I never got into the to the D and D. I wish I would have. You know, I look. You know, I see people playing it all the time, and I have my whole life. I just never got into it. But you never know, one day I might. Because I do like that, you know, I like the whole setting of all that dragons and knights and, you know, all that kind of stuff. This paint is so much better. It's crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Oh. Oh, I gotta get some uh, water for my brushes, guys. use some of this water. Oh, you still play? Well, that's cool. That's good. It's nice to know you do that kind of stuff. Thanks. We might we might have lost Gary on this topic. I don't know if Gary's a gamer. I don't game like I used to, of course, but I do game a little bit. Not quite like I did. I was a, a video game addict at one time. Very competitive. Yeah, I think that there is a little time, de time delay as far as like. I think I got it. 
Set up. I don't know how I got it set up. I don't forgot. <laughs> I'm pretending like I know how I got it set up, and I forgot. Eh. I hope I didn't just get that on my pants. Your three kids play. Cool. Yeah, I raised my kids playing video games. They're video game addicts still. We used to all get together and we'd all play all the time. Have people over on the weekends and all kind of stuff. So how are you playing? Uh, you got a console or a PC? I know on the PC you can do a lot of mods and stuff on Skyrim. They've uh, really decked it out. Is the connection okay with you, Gary? Everything look okay? You're just having, having kind of like a delay, maybe? Oh, Xbox? Okay. Yeah, that's how... No, I think I played, I played and beat Skyrim on the computer, and I played and beat Oblivion on the 360. Now, I say beat. I beat, like, the content that was free. I didn't download stuff that you had to pay for and all that kind of stuff. So, I beat the basic, you know, game that you were presented with. Which, that's all I worry about. I ain't going to sit there and keep dropping money every, you know, so often. So, so John, are you going to be doing a uh, live stream tonight? Oh, you didn't like Oblivion? Huh. It doesn't seem to get the love that Skyrim does, but to me, they were pretty much all the same kind of game to me, but now I didn't follow the story real well, but I just played and beat them. <laughs> yeah, you'd get that burn in uh, from, from uh, games back then. Yeah, my dad, uh, from what little I remember of my dad, the one time that I hung out with him in my life, uh, he had a Pong machine, you know, that you hooked up to your TV, and I think it had the little paddles. Uh, I can't really remember, but I, I remember playing it like one or two times, and uh, yeah, that was, that's was that been many, many, many years ago. Very depressing What's very depressing, John? Do some yellow, guys. Oh, I got more. This I can clean too. Oh, oblivion. Oblivion's depressing. Heck, I don't know. I don't. Like I said, I didn't really follow the story too much. <laughs> Dang, I wish I would have now. I pretty much play games just to get in there and get them done and move on. I guess. I know a lot of people follow stories and and all that stuff and. 
you know, get really attached to a lot of the characters and games and all that kind of stuff. And I don't know, I've, I've never done that. I guess I just, I got one thing on my mind, that's just to get in there and beat the game. That's kind of, that's even how I was with Halo Infinite. You know, I've been looking forward to playing it all, you know, all these years and for it to finally come out. And then, you know, I just play it just to, really just to say I played it and beat it. Pretty good game, by the way. Pretty good. Ah, good old Pong. Good old Pong. I think I'm going to use something. I didn't use the green. Why do I got that out? I don't know. Put the green back there. I think I'm going to use a yellow. I think we're going to go with basic yellow, guys. Yeah, with Oblivion and Skyrim, I, used to, I just turned down the difficulty super far. As far as you can turn it down and just enjoy the game for what it was. Yeah, you look fine. It's just there seems to be some drag. You're answering questions much later. Huh. That's weird. Now, I know, you, I, know I can set up like the... Uh, I know I can set up the chat and all that to think go quicker or I might have the the delay set a little differently so it has a better connection or something like that I don't know but uh I apologize for that Gary I hope it's still kind of you know somewhat you know able to follow Skyrim there's so much going on you need to read all the books you find Yeah, there's always a side quest in those games. Always something. Well, John, are you ready for your your lift, your meat? Are you going to do it? Are you going to make weight? I think that's the bigger question. Can you make the weight? No, not ready. You're not ready. What? You better get ready. It's time. Two forty six today. Yeah, you gotta really you gotta you can still drop. If you get yourself on a bike or a treadmill or you know, put yourself in a hoodie and a jacket and like bundle up super tight and sweat it out and sweat it out and you know, you might could uh, you could probably drop, but you know that's your call. Ah, uh, you can go to the bathroom one good time and get rid of half of that. I think you got it. You got it. <laughs> You quit eating that. You quit eating dinner. That's the problem. Quit. No more eating. Go on. Go to bed. Yeah, quit that eating.
I'm going live stream. Uh, you're going to go do a live stream right now, or you're live streaming the event? Oh, okay. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you dropping in. Uh, good luck on your live stream. Good luck with your lift. And uh, I'll try to make sure to catch what you're doing. And uh, I'm going to do this for a little while, so I might not make your live stream, but we'll see. So, of course, I could pull up another window, but then that might wear my computer out. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I appreciate you dropping in. So have a good night and good luck, man. I hope John's still here. I mean, I hope, uh, John, I hope Gary's still here. I hope he's not lagging out too bad or anything. I hope everything's good. I know this ain't stu super entertaining, but, you know, it could be worse. I could be a Kardashian. I don't like them girls. That whole family. Wackos. Well, Gary, I don't blame you if you want to go hop over and watch uh, John's live stream. Alright, good. Yeah, I don't know if that's on your end or my end. It seems like uh, McBean, it seems like he was keeping up fairly well, so I don't know if it might be on your end or not. I don't know, buddy. Yeah, he said he's going to go live stream. So, let's see if I got some more paper towels. Crazy stuff. Now again, I'm probably going to add some more colors off in here and kind of make it look a little bit more interesting, but kind of getting base colors going. And Yeah, I can read that. Hello, can you read this? Hello. Almost sounds like one of those commercials or whatever. If you can read this, thank a teacher. Okay, it was me. I'm the one dragging behind. Oh, okay. Well, good. Good, good. I think I'm going to go with... I just left and came back. Yeah, sometimes I got to do that too. Even when I'm, you know, watching a live stream. Uh, I 
think I need to add a better fan to my cooling system in my computer because it really likes to rev up and uh, give me, you know, issues sometimes whenever I'm watching a live stream and sometimes when I'm even live streaming. So I think I'm going to do all this in yellow. I feel yellowish. Well, heck, I feel special tonight having two people in here. I even had one bot hop in first thing. I feel all right. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I usually don't have anybody join in. I've struggled a lot with YouTube. The blonde hair looks fine. Well, good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I've struggled a lot with YouTube over the years. I started really hardcore YouTubing in about 2016 sometime. And uh, my other channel, my main channel that I had for all those years, uh, Mikey Sun TV, M I K I E S O N TV, uh, I'm only up to. 260 subscribers now and that's it and I mean I've uh, I got like a thousand videos up there over that because I've been dumping all of my body beatdown videos over there uh, just to give people something to watch because some of those people didn't switch over to my body beatdown so um, but on that channel I did everything from stuff like this to video games to uh, children's book readings to cooking, uh, taste tests. Uh, I, I've even played darts. Where I have family videos on there. I have kind of Halloween stuff that we did, a party and uh, movie watch parties that we've done. Just little clips of that kind of stuff. And I've got oh uh, cycling. I cycled for five and a half years. That's all on there. Uh, I used to be a cyclist. And uh, got all kind of stuff. On-road, off-road cycling. Mostly on-road, though. Conversations, you know, deep conversations and all kind of stuff about myself and all kind of, like, everything. And uh, I thought that would be kind of cool to do, have a channel that touched on everything. But according to YouTube and all the YouTube experts, they want you to stick to one thing. So after all those years, I finally made this channel, The Body Beatdown, and I thought, well, I'll just uh, stick to fitness, you know, type related type things. So, and, uh, so that's why I've got The Body Beatdown. And... Uh, But I've had I've had that Mikey Sun TV since like 2004 or 2006. I think maybe 2006. I don't remember. You got the vegetarian pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I'm happy. Tomorrow is my cheat day, so I'm going to get to eat whatever I want. Still, usually on my cheat days, I still eat pretty clean anyway, but, you know. I at least give myself the option if I want to have something. I think uh, me and uh, some of my family's getting together. We're going to go out and eat and then go bowling afterwards. I 
I am not a good bowler. Not a good bowler. Of course, I don't bowl enough to really get good, I guess, but I guess if I went every week, a couple times a week or so, and I guess that would be different. Yeah, uh, we've just recently started doing that over the past year or so. Maybe like once a month we'll go, which, you know, ain't a whole lot, but it's enough just to get us out and get us hanging out together. You know, sometimes you just, you don't really hang out with your family that much, so it gives you something to do. You know, we've always been the type that really just kind of gets together at someone's house. It used to be my mom's house, you know, and hang out and, you know, do family stuff, hang out there. and But, uh, you know, I think I'm the one that maybe brought it up. Hey, why don't we go bowling or something or whatever. And so we've been kind of going about once a month, something like that. So we'll usually go out and eat about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then after that, we'll go bowl either two or three games. And I'm lucky to bowl 100. <laughs> and I'm okay with it, you know? I'm all right with it. I'm comfortable with it. With knowing that I'm no good. Oh, I shoot a little pull now and then. Yeah, it's about the same with me and pull. I do that about... You know, just over the past year or so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll also, after we get done bowling, we'll, some of us will, you know, shoot a couple things, you know, a couple rounds of pool, but I'm no good at that, really. I might be better at pool than I am bowling. <laughs> Which ain't saying a whole lot, you know. You don't play, a, you know, if you don't practice enough, it's kind of hard to get good. I need to make sure I know what I'm using. I think these are the ones I've used. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that's what I've used. Put those there. Used to bounce in a bar, and I don't like being around drunks anymore. Yeah, I don't blame you. I've never been a I've never been a bar guy or a club guy or anything like that. I just never got into all that. I don't drink. I drink maybe once every 10 years. I'll drink and if I do that then I tend to get drunk. <laughs> That's the only reason I drink. Otherwise, why would I want to drink such nasty stuff? I don't know. But I'm a happy drunk. Whenever I do drink and get and, and get a little drunk, I'm a happy drunk. I've seen the videos. <laughs> I have seen the videos. Yeah, St. Patty's Day. I think a lot of people drink that day. <laughs> How long have I been live streaming? Just over an hour. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Hey, at least I haven't got any more bots in here. He was like, eh, he blocked me. I'm good. 
All good. Now again, I'm going to draw like little scale things on it with the paint kind of outline. Like little scale stuff. and Trying to do something to kind of make it pop a little bit. Gotta put an eye. I don't even know what kind of eye to do. I guess I should have done the eye. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Should I just do a big black eye? And then maybe a little white spot? <laughs> yeah, he said he was going to do a live stream. Hey, I don't blame you for jumping over there. I know you can only sit and watch, you know, a little bit of painting for so long. I don't blame you. He's always got something to talk about. So tomorrow's my deadlift day. And typically on my deadlift day, I'll also do some biceps at some point. Just some lightweight biceps. Probably about anywhere from 5 to 10 sets on biceps. And again, it's usually nothing major. It's just one movement that I'll do. Just for a little extra on the biceps. But I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow for deadlift. I don't know if I'm going to try and go for another PR or if I'm just going to go more for some reps and kind of working out with a mid-range weight. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I think I'm going to do a black eye. And then I'll put a white dot in it or something. I don't know. Mars black. I didn't know Bar Mars was black. I used to draw dragons and I would just use black for scales or you might be able to do green. Yeah, well, what I'm going to do is I have that, uh, that other paint that's in the bottle that you can squeeze and it kind of draws. And I'm just going to do just like lines or, or something. I'm going to, you know, that way this color is still here. You know, I've still got this color, but I'm just drawing like, you know, kind of outlining the skills in that paint or whatever. I don't know. I'll do something. Kind of figuring it out as I go. Figuring it out as I go. That's kind of how I am with everything. So were you good at drawing? Were you were you able to draw like real good? Or were you just kinda like me? Kinda mediocre-ish or were you really bad? A stick did you draw stick down uh, stick dragons? <laughs> I've seen people that drew just stick dragons. And they couldn't even do that. I'm just gonna draw hopefully I can make a circle. Hopefully I can make a circle. Yeah, lines on the belly. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do something. I'll surprise both of us when I do it. clean that up in a minute in a little bit almost got it pretty good almost but I did lines on the belly and scales on the tail oh okay lines on the belly and scales on the tail sounds like a song 
Nine for a billion scares on tail. I don't know if they have a. Do they got a little nose? I think they got a little nose. Something like that. We'll say that's right. We'll say that this seahorse has a nostril. <laughs> they got something up there. I remember seeing a picture. They got something going on. I can always cover it up again anyway. That's what's good about paint. You can pretty much just cover stuff up, you know? Like I did in my very first video that I did of this, uh, I ended up going over the horse, the seahorse that I had going on. Just kind of went back over it, and then on uh, the second video I did, I kind of redid everything. So, not bad, not bad. See, when it's all done, I'll uh, make that eye nice and pretty as I can. And then I'll take like some white paint and kind of boop on there. You know, where you kind of get that little white that everybody does on eyes, eyeballs, you know. Boop, got the little white light of shine. I'll do something like that to kind of give it a little life in the eye. Oh, goodness. The paint's hard work with... I've been doing watercolors. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I also... Uh, I watched a video of a girl doing some... Uh, oil painting for the first time uh the first time she ever done oil painting and of course she's super talented i mean she's like super stupid talented she not only can paint but they build like dioramas or they build whatever you want to call them they build like scale replicas or not scale but they build like houses and they build like little things and all kind of stuff just she, they do some great stuff. Super talented. Uh, let me see. Oh, wow. Oh. So, not that you'll be able to see real well, but I got some red glitter glue. Uh, that you can kind of draw with. You know, it's got the little thing there. And then I got iridescent, which is just clear glue with uh, glitter in it. Got that. And then I got like some puffy 3D kind of seafoam green looking stuff. And, uh, you know, it's all stuff that you can kind of draw with. And, uh, I don't know. I'm going to outline it in one of these, do a complete outline of it in, in one of these, and then use another one to like draw. I might use this to do the like stuff. I don't know. And then just like random little dots here and there or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I just found that and thought I'd get it and try it. I was really just looking for actual paint in a little thing, but I couldn't find any that I wanted. Of course, that's paint, but it's puffy. Not the rap artist. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the dry, uh, the dry paint. I guess just the powder and then you add the water and what have you. I have seen that. So I got the, I think that's all I'll do with the black. <laughs> Fireworks or something. <laughs> Whew, man.
jellyfish on the blue. You know, I was thinking of something. Just kind of like, you know, not, not making it really part. You know, you're not really going to focus too much on it, but something kind of like it's small, kind of off in the distance. And I was thinking of doing it with the iridescent glitter. You know, just basically clear glue with glitter in it. Just kind of off something small. Just here and there, a couple of things, not too much. Something, something, something. Ooh, I could even do his eyes. I won't do his eyes. I don't know what I'll do. What's funny is I got uh, another little pack of some little foam brushes. They're round, like a little round sponge on a stick. I could have literally done his eye with it. A perfect circle. I could have just dipped it in some black and went boop. And had a perfect circle. <laughs> I just remember, I just seen him over there whenever I stood up a second ago so anyway I think I'm gonna leave this like this for tonight and then uh, maybe catch up with it tomorrow and uh, see where we go from there I really appreciate you hanging in here Gary I know it wasn't the most exciting uh, thing in the world to watch but you know hey at least we hung out and chit chatted a little bit and you can always go catch up with uh, John on his channel. And uh, I may pop over there in just a minute myself and see if he's doing something. So, anyway, I appreciate it, man. Uh, have a good night. And uh, if you want to, I might be doing this tomorrow at uh, some point. Probably tomorrow night, maybe. Because like I said, we're going to be going out and doing a family thing and all that. So, see you later, Gary. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, anyway, guys, for those of you that tuned in or will tune in, I appreciate you watching. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. Me, uh, I'm Michael, your incredible host, who's painting this crazy seahorse for my wife. Don't tell her. Shh, it's a secret. All right? So have a good night, guys. Everybody be safe out there. Be awesome. Uh, be an inspiration to someone along the way, including yourself. And don't forget, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And we'll see y'all later on the Body Beatdown. Mm -hmm.